monster sounds and everything else that we had on for Halloween we were talking about not using more energy than you have to and that little riff right there which is from Killer Bebop by Joe Satriani that is one of those instances where we really can't do or use any more pressure than we need to it combines our sliding it combines our hammer-ons and pull-offs it combines not letting our fingers fly away so that we can stay nice and tight and articulate and hit all those right notes and rhythms so, if you recall, I mentioned that we talked about doing this exercise where we're creating a backstop for our fingers. But I also said that although we have a stopping point coming in, we still actually have a problem that a lot of people experience, and that's putting the Hulk smash on their guitar. And playing a tune like that Killer Bebop if I was really trying to dig in super hard and press everything down as hard as possible. I wouldn't be able to get my fingers off quick enough. So part of being able to play fast is not just being able to hit all the right spots and play all the right notes and know where everything is. It's also about doing what I do, which is what I said is playing lazy, to which all of my students this week have said it's playing efficient. Yes, it's playing more efficiently. So, last week we had the stop. This week we're going to talk about an exercise that I remember being called Thump the Pressure when I was at GIT. And I love this. This is something that I like to do when I go play live. Because, you know, when you get nervous you get all amped up and you might squeeze things just a little bit harder. So, I do this exercise. So, with Thump the Pressure, you can take any finger you want, any string, any fret. And I'm doing this on the electric today because I think it really is challenging on the electric because it's easier to get the notes out. So, find some good placement. We're going to take the 5th fret on the D string. I'm going to use my index finger to start. And what we're going to do is, you don't press the string down. You just put your finger on top of it so you get a muted sound. Now what I want you to do is, while plucking, Slowly add pressure until the note buzzes. So we want that really ugly buzzy note that we wouldn't normally want. Once you have that, I want you to add a little more until you get a clean note. And then I want you to back off until it buzzes. muscle memory to know how hard we actually have to press. You should find, no matter what, if you're playing an electric guitar or an acoustic guitar, that you don't really need to press near as hard as you're doing. We'll do the same thing with the pinky finger, which is a hard one to control because it's a finger that a lot of people either avoid or they haven't built up the strength in yet. So we're going to try that. We'll take it on the, let's take it on the A string on the ninth fret. So something really far away slowly add pressure till it buzzes and then give it a little more till you get it and then back off till it buzzes and then add pressure again just enough to get the note and then Hulk smash it so it goes out of tune and then release it back again and then Hulk smash it again 
So remember, there's nothing involved with speed here. This is all about teaching you how hard you actually need to press to get those notes out. As a great example, you'll know if you're on, because if you've got your note, and you've got your finger placed nicely at the front of the fret, and you slide back to the middle of the fret, you should be losing it. I promise you I'm not changing how hard I'm pressing, I'm just moving away. Okay, so this is thump the pressure. So it's recap, put your finger, any finger, any fret, any string, squeeze it till it buzzes, give a little more to get a nice note, come back to buzz, back to nice note, squeeze the life out of it, back to nice note. something fast like you won't be working any harder than you have to to get those notes out okay so backstop keep working on that got to work on that outside part because again you can't come flying off in order to do but also work on squeezing so that you're not going just enough to get a note practice that keep it slow like everything else and a fun little tip and our tip of the month if you caught it in there look ahead to where you're going not just where you are so you make sure you land everything where you need it to be we'll talk about that more later happy practicing have a great weekend and we'll see you next week